Here in Africa, what is special, and we saw it during this Ecovillage Design Education, is this, the skills in the social arena. The way that people know how to work together, how to be there for each other, how to do things together, how to not just think of themselves, but put others and the community first. And we see this actually coming from tribal communities all around the planet, but it's definitely something that we in the North have a lot to learn from. Not only that, but also the depth of culture, like especially being here in Bafut, it's a, it's a real gift to see the intricacy and the quality of the handicraft, you know, what people are able to do, make from grass and leaves and the basket weaving is really, truly amazing. And going, there's a very special place here in Bafut with the World Heritage Site of the Bafut Palace, where the Museum of Bafut shows us some of the culture of Africa of 200, 300, 400 years ago. And it's, it's truly amazing and something we often don't have any idea of when we live in Europe, just the depth of culture that is present in Africa. So there's a lot there to share and teach. Yeah, and so what's happened in Jin is that we have all these communities around the world that self-started and we have networks growing from that. And we've, from that we've learned what are the best practices and we've put together an education which is called the, the um, Eco-Village Design Education, in which we started in the early 2000, 2004, we wrote the curriculum, brought it together, and we, we um, set up a daughter organization called Gaia Education, which is running the Eco-Village Design Education around the world. Today, we, we've run it in over 42 countries, so it's really having a huge impact on people around the planet. And this is the course that we've brought here to Buffalo. So it's a great course that brings the basic knowledge of eco-village design in a, in a good package together. But more than that, because people from different villages live together for three and a half weeks, four weeks in doing this course, they actually build community. They do what they're learning. So it's a very experiential training and a basis for network building. So one of the things that will grow out of this Ecovillage eco design education is Gen Cameroon. It's been emerging for a few years, but it feels we have people from 11 different villages. We have the Bafut Council, which includes 54 different villages and is really keen to take on eco-village inspiration to transition Bafut into an eco-community by 2020. This will entail reaching out to all those 54 villages that make up the council area of Bafut and working with eco-village design methods to transition villages. When we say transition, it's always about bringing together the best of tradition with the best of innovation and seeing how can we meld this? So there's a lot of knowledge around healing plants, around local agriculture, the different, the different treatments that plants need to do well here, the different foodstuffs that can pre be prepared from that, and so much more. And at the same time, there's a knowledge about renewable energy sources, local village grids based on solar energy, that can be brought in. There's green building techniques which melt perfectly with the knowledge, the traditional knowledge that was here and has often partly been lost or is not implemented to such an extent anymore. There is water catchment system, soil regeneration, um, but also the importance of really appreciating, as I said before, the social and the cultural roots that are here, bringing in more conflict facilitation, peace building skills, communication, feedback skills in the social um, and in culture really honoring the art and the culture that is here and offering to young Cameroonians the possibility to see themselves within the framework of a global network where what they have here is appreciated so much by young Europeans who have a lack of own culture often and are so deeply impressed and this really supports youth in Africa to say wow you know why would I travel to Europe why would I become a migrant if I have so much richness here and we can build wealth together 
So it's a strong point.